Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video, let's see how to control the number of pods you can run in your Kubernetes cluster. I mean, number of pods per node. So by default, you can run up to a maximum of 110 pods per uh, Kubernetes worker node or any Kubernetes node. But where is it set and how can we control that, how many number of pods we can uh, schedule in our uh, work in our nodes. That's what we're going to see in this video. All right, so I've got a cluster running kubectl version minus minus short server version is 1.16.2 but this should work in any version of Kubernetes cluster kubectl get nodes. So I have kmoster, kworker1, kworker2 and let's for this testing for this demo purpose I'm going to cardon uh, two nodes so that all my pods are going to just one particular node, all right? So kubectl cardon kmaster.example.com and let's also cardon kworker2 kworker2.example.com. Okay, so that's done. kubectl get nodes. All right, so master and kworker2 scheduling is disabled, so no pods will go into uh, those two nodes. So the only node available is kworker1. So now Let's schedule some pods onto kworker1, okay? So first, how to find out the limit, the number of pods that can be run on any particular worker node. So the command is, you have to describe the node, kubectl describe node kworker1.example.com. So that will contain all the information about the node that you're running. So it has got uh, these five pods running and some uh, statistics about those pods, NFS client provisioner, Calico and all those pods that are currently running. So non-terminated pods. So at the moment, the total number of pods running on this particular worker node is five. Five in total. All right, so if you scroll above and you will see capacity, so it can run up to a maximum of 110 pods. So where is it set and how can we change this value? All right, for that, you need to log into that worker node and you have to edit the kubelet service. Uh, that's where it's actually defined. All right. Okay, so now let's log into kworker1. I've used my Vagrant uh, provisioning scripts to provision this Kubernetes cluster. So I need to go into uh, the directory, Kubernetes, Vagrant provisioning. Uh, if I do Vagrant SSH kworker1. So once in the container, once in the uh, machine, we need to edit the file etc kubernetes um, manifests kubelet nope it's not that um, I know where it is it's the config file so in order to find out where's the uh, the kubelet's configuration file you can do sudo systemctl status kubelet and if you do that it will show you where the config file is so that's the config file we are going to edit var lib kubelet config.yaml sudo vi war lib kubelet config dot yaml all right so you can see here there's lots lots of configuration for this node and if you search for max parts now you go so that's where it's uh, the limit is set so let's say if we change that to um, 10 for example so the maximum parts going to be 10 that can be scheduled on this worker node save that and then you have to restart your kubelet sudo systemctl restart kubelet sudo systemctl restart kubelet without a typo okay so that's done kubectl get events minus w for watch okay so let's um leave that and if i do kubectl describe node kworker1.example.com so now you should be able to say still we have five pods running we haven't scheduled any pods but if you look at the capacity now it says 10 pods can be scheduled and the allocatable is 10 pods cool okay so now let's try and deploy uh, an nginx uh, pods nginx deployment with some amount of replicas and see what's happening kubectl um, run nginx minus minus image nginx minus minus replicas five uh, are 
Yep, five should be fine. Error, main namespace model. Okay, so I'm not in the default namespace. kubectl, change namespace default. Okay, and kubectl run nginx minus minus replicas five. Cool, created kubectl. I'm not sure why it's not working. kubectl change namespace default. kubectl get events minus w yeah that's what i was expecting all right so kubectl get all and you can see container is getting created so we have five one two three four five replicas of nginx pod running and if i do kubectl get pods minus o wide all of them are running on kworker one because we have disabled scheduling on the other pods Okay, and if I do kubectl describe node kworker1 and grep for non-terminated pods, now we can see there are total 10 pods running on this particular worker node. And if I try to increase the number of replicas and for the Nginx application, would it be able to start new pods? I guess it won't because the pod limit is 10. kubectl expose, sorry, scale deploy Nginx minus minus replicas. So we had five replicas, now let's change that to eight, for example. Okay, that's done. So now you can see here, zero of three nodes are available. One insufficient pod, two nodes were cordoned. So there is only one node, but it has insufficient pods. There's no capacity for that node uh, to take additional pods. And if I do kubectl get pods, minus O wide, and these three pods are in the pending state because it hasn't got any nodes available to be scheduled. So now let's go back to our kworker1, vagrant ssh kworker1, edit that file and then increase the limit and then the pods will get uh, scheduled. sudo vi var lib kubelet config.yaml and search for max pods change that to 20 for example and then sudo systemctl restart kubelet and if I do that these three parts that were in the pending state will get uh, scheduled and you will see that in the events here restart kubelet that's done and now we can see the parts got scheduled now onto the uh, kworker1 node all right kubectl get parts minus o wide container is creating so all the three additional pods are uh, launching at the moment kubectl describe node kworker1 grep for non-terminated now we can see 13 pods in total and if we look at the capacity uh, we should see the total pods is now 20 cool so that's all i wanted to show you in this video it's, it's a quick one just to show you um, how you can restrict or control the number of pods that can be run on any particular node in your Kubernetes cluster. So please try this one. If you've got any questions, let me know. And meanwhile, uh, please share and subscribe this video if you liked it. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.